not ready, people. <laughs> I'm so not ready for this finale. Last week's episode was crazy as hell. I always knew Laurel's mother was shady as hell. And to find out, she's responsible for Wes's death. Dominic did it directly, her father ordered him to do it, but she called him, she told him to do something, and he killed him. And then we don't know what happened. Did Laurel kill her? Did she kidnap her? And Bonnie? We don't know if it's actually Bonnie, but uh, come on, people. It has to be Bonnie. I can't handle it if Bonnie's dead, but... Oh, apparently we're supposed to have one mother of an ending. We're getting a cliffhanger. Oh my god. I'm not ready. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. Here we go. Be careful. Specimens will be collected during internal Would y'all just fucking tell us if it's Bonnie? Just don't talk to me. What? She's alive? Who was it? Wait, is it Denver? Is it District Attorney? Is it Denver? Okay, I thought it was body. I got so fucking scared. Oh, we're good. What? Your mother's missing, Laura. The last person she was seeing was a dumb job was here. You're lying. None of my people can find her. You're probably with her right now. I'm with your son. <gasps> Don't you dare. Why are you there? Remind you, let's stay here. You leave that baby alone. You are the person I am trying to protect him from. Just tell me where your mother is, and everyone will stay safe. I don't know where she is. Did you do something? I feel like she's lying. Either she killed her or she kidnapped her. No, of course not. Tell me the truth, Laurel. Did you hurt your mother? Tell me or I'll take this boy away for good. Don't you dare. You do anything. Tell me the truth, Laurel. Tell me. Tell me. Don't go to commercial. Mm. Just the one who had an unscheduled meeting with the victim hours before he died. Oh, for fuck's sake. So what was last night's meeting about? None of your damn business. What do you want? Tell me who killed Wes. Well, I thought it was going to be about me going back to intern after my maternity leave. But he really just wanted to talk about my father. Your father? I was just as surprised as you. I didn't even know they knew each other. How did they? I don't know, but Denver asked me if I'd spoken to him recently. I haven't, obviously, due to the custody stuff. C custody of who? Her baby. You told him everything? Just the things that'll make them investigate me for How does sticking the FBI on him make any sense? Seriously, he just threatened his own grandchild. Imagine that Goodfellas massacre he'll do to us. Think for a second instead of panicking. This lays the groundwork for Simon to blow the whistle on Antares. That's only true for you of the hard drive. Speaking of, you really need to go talk to Simon. Michaela knows what she's doing. Does she? Because I'm sure she'd be willing to bang Simon in silence. Asher, you need to drop it for now. We're screwed. We get it, your heart broke heart is broken, but you need to drop it for now. You have more important things to deal with than your heart being broken. Hey. We need some good news. Yeah, because seriously. They would have been using evidence locker for whole case and stuff. Why? What is it? That's Dominic's phone. I gave it to Denver in our last meeting. No hard drive. Probably because the FBI already has it. Wait. Damn it. You looking for this too? Get your goddamn deal. That would be a very big mistake. It would. Michaela is not playing nice in this finale. Michaela just texted Simon's asking for proof of the files. Tell her to suffocate him and then maybe he'll consider forgiving her. Oh my god. Asher, shut up! I'm sorry, Asher. I love you. I know your heart's broken, but we have more important things to deal with, so shut it. No wonder Michaela behaves like such a fool. She had you as a teacher. We have the Antares files. 
surprise. I haven't found any illegal activity yet. Because there is none. Because you haven't told me where to look for it. Even if your ludicrous claims were true, I am one of Jorge Castillo's lawyers. Attorney client privilege only applies to past crimes. But since your client's crimes are ongoing, Enough. you could be arrested with him and charges his co conspirator. So why not jump ship? Be the whistleblower. I'm calling security. No. The district attorney. Denver was on Jorge's payroll. Bitches get things done. Well, get the hell out of my office, bitch. Fuck off. There was a time when I looked forward to seeing your name on my phone. It's Annalise Keating. No, I am not doing this with you. Well, too fucking bad. We have the hard drive. Suck it, bitch. Karma's a bitch, isn't it? Where's my daughter? I'm not here to negotiate a family reunion. How do I know you haven't made copies? Check our computers. You're doing it anyway. Sign this. We can't your testimony against Laurel. The judge will be swayed and give her sole custody. Then we can all move on. Move on? Yeah. My wife is missing. Ex-wife. Yeah. Stop accusing Laurel of something we both know she's not capable of. And you don't know my daughter. I still feel like she did something. Laurel did do something to her mother. I can't. With the per she had the person she loved killed. Or was it Frank? Is Sam Green chained up in some basement? You know, if you don't want to do this, I can leave. Or Bonnie. Or you. You bring out the worst in people, don't you? <laughs> Michaela. Michaela. What are you going to do? Michaela. What are you gonna do? What is she doing? She has a look in her eye. Maybe, what is she gonna do? Kill him with a pillow? I built her a future where she could have anything, be anything, try doing that. Oh, fuck you. I steal her from you. I know exactly how that feels. You don't. You took Wes from me. And for what? Was it for the money? Spill it. We know what you did. Don't bother lying. You know, you can't be a good father and kill the love of your daughter's life. Yeah. And lock her in the psych ward. Hold your grandson for ransom because that's all I see you doing. In the story, that you're doing it out of love. It's a bullshit lie. You love you. Not even your ex-wife, your daughter, or that little boy alone in the hospital. You love yourself. I have no idea what I'm willing to do for my family. I don't care about you. And neither moral. does your daughter. It's too late. You've lost her. She's gone. Yeah. You're and done. Taking her son away from her. You're putting her through the same pain that you say you feel right now. So be a good father for once and sign the damn paper. <laughs> damn, man, I'll let her go. Yeah, bitch, let her go. You're done. Let her go. No. <clears throat> I just want to say goodbye to him. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. She's done. Leave. Bye. Bye, Felicia.
cute baby. So he's showing no signs of infection and he's off the antibiotics. He will need to stay on the enhanced formula though for another month or so. Oh, great, great, thank you. Oh, we put all the instructions in this packet. And all our contact information. And we'll be making a home visit within the month just to make sure Christopher is settling in okay. Adorable. He's into a nicer place. I think he's gonna love it. <laughs> It really sucks when you lose, doesn't it? I don't know. And I don't care. Mr. Mother Her mother had the person she loved killed. She had you do it. Man, something's gonna he's gonna do something. Oh no, never mind. About freaking time he got arrested. But we haven't seen the last of him. I took care of Simon. You killed him. When she was walking towards him, she had that look in her eye. She killed him. For the immigration and customs. Wait, what? You're being transferred to a medical facility run by the Department of Homeland Security. What'd she do? Why? It's come to our attention you've been involved in some recent criminal activity. The felony gun charge equals deportation, so I made an anonymous tip to ICE. Oh. Well, she killed him. What's wrong with you? He would have held this over our heads for the rest of our lives, and it's not like I killed him, so... You wanted to. You look at that look in your eye. The old you would have done this. I want it better for the end of the day, Someone needed to step up and do the thing that you didn't have the balls to do to keep us safe. Oh. You've been trying to become me this whole time. Michaela is going to be the new Annalise. That's the path you're going down. That's what I'm proud of. You should be too. It's like Annalise 2.0. About his arrest. You look hurt? Oh god, what now? Grant and DC power player Olivia Pope, the plaintiff in Leahy v. Commonwealth. What happened to Olivia? Fitz? Today, the Supreme Court returned a decision. The justices sided with the plaintiffs, led by attorney Annalise Keating. Many had questioned whether Ms. Keating, a controversial criminal defense attorney, was the right person to argue <laughs> such an important case. She Today, got it. with this momentous win, Ms. Keating has proved her detractors wrong and ensured a far reaching step forward for defendants across the she entire fucking country. With this got victory, it. it's clear Ms. Keating has become a legal power. <laughs> Holy shit, she actually fucking got it. How do we make you my interior decorator? I wasn't supposed to make a statement. Alright, well, first order of business, cover up those weird sex scratches, and you gotta lose the beer pump trophy, or you'll never find a quality lady. See? So I need you all, and I will pay you back, I promise. What? Can I cash in now? What? I'm gonna throw balls, otherwise I wouldn't be moving into this dump. I didn't mean money. I'm not forgiving McKay. Okay, just listen. So, what the Connor fuck? doesn't think we should have him, but I feel like if we're gonna do a wedding, then we should do it right. So, will you be my best man? Oh, oh yes. Hell yes, bestie! <laughs> should I all ever move in with him? You. And when you give people a chance to get better, then you rob them of their families, their futures, and any ounce of hope. And not only are they likely to fall below the poverty line, but the trauma that they suffer wreaks havoc on them for the rest of their lives. So reuniting families is the first step to building a better society. Your name? I can't tell you that unless you give me yours first. Very funny. Fine. Just give me your number. Email? <laughs> your name, please. Gabriel Maddox. It's a pleasure. <laughs> the problem is that most people don't believe that these criminals deserve help. Instead, it's go to jail, pay your debt. I'm sorry, and what? But there's no such thing as a fresh start when you've been inside the system. It's like Clark said, it sucks you in. You just have the ability to get and to be better. So 
So you've argued in front of the highest court in the land <sighs> and won. What's next? Will you return to teaching? Oh my god. Take another class action? Oh, honestly. tell you that ending was not what I expected. I legitimately thought the one mother of an ending, I thought it was gonna be like, I thought it was gonna end with someone getting shot or someone getting killed. But no, the mother of an ending was, um, I'm get, at least what I think, it was the dude. I think his name was Gabriel? I couldn't hear his last name, but it was Gabriel. The dude at the tour with Frank. Child alive. What the fuck? And Bonnie, she's getting a break, thank God. Jorge's finally in jail. Laurel killed her mother. That's obvious. I knew ever since last week's episode ended, I knew, I knew she killed her mother. I mean, it's not confirmed, there's no confirmation, we won't find out until October. But, she killed her mother. That's Obvious and the claw marks on her arm That only proves it further But seriously though, they're gonna make us wait till October To find out everything Gabriel Laurel's mother she killed her. That's obvious. We all know that Oh my god, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to wait till October for this to come back This show the amount of feels I get from this show. It's not describable at all. Well, that was the How to Get Away with Murder season four finale. Thanks all, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, hope you guys are as shook as I am right now. And that is it for now. I'll see you guys next time.